Hi, I'm Dave Amato. I'm a roadway design engineer in the criteria section of the roadway design office. I will be highlighting the major changes in FDM Chapter 230 covering signing and pavement markings. The list of sections in Chapter 230 with significant changes includes Section 230.2.4, External Lighting of Overhead Signs, Section 230.3.1, Selection of Pavement Marking Material, Section 230.3.2, .2, Pavement Marking Maintenance, Section 230.3.4, Work Zone Pavement Markings, and section 230.4, wrong way signing and payment marking. In section 230.2.4, the language covering guidance on the elimination of existing overhead sign structures was modified. This modification shown here allows for the elimination of lighting if existing panels are overlaid with type 11 sheeting. Section 230.3.1, Selection of Pavement Marking Materials, was completely rewritten to streamline and clarify guidance for the selection of pavement marking materials for all pavement marking applications. As shown here, the flowchart from the 2022 FDM has been replaced with a table that indicates which material types are allowed given the pavement marking application and substrate type. Each column in the table represents a pavement marking application, while each row represents a pavement marking material option. The letters within the table cells represent pavement marking substrates that are valid for a particular combination of pavement marking application and pavement marking material. A indicates asphalt pavement, C indicates concrete pavement, and B indicates concrete bridge deck. As an example, materials allowed for white dotted extensions lines with a 610 skip pattern for the three pavement substrates are as follows. Hot applied standard thermoplastic and two reactive components for asphalt pavement, permanent tape for concrete pavement, and permanent tape for concrete bridge tick. The table also indicates when contrast markings are required. The subsections following the table provide additional guidance to further clarify proper pavement marking material selection. Section 230.3.2 .2 is a new section that provides guidance on the two products used to extend the life of existing pavement markings, refurbishment thermoplastic and hot spray thermoplastic. This new section takes information on these maintenance materials that was scattered throughout the previous version of the chapter and organizes it into a single selection section that is easier to follow. In section 230.4, work zone pavement markings, a requirement for contrast markings on solid white lane lines was included as shown here in the highlighted text. Wrong way signing and pavement marking changes include the following. In section 230.4.1, exit ramp intersections, guidance was added to coordinate with the DTOE when contemplating use of wrong way direction systems and LED highlighted wrong way signs. In section 230.4.3, divided arterials and collectors. 
Updated guidance was added for the wrong way and do not enter signs at median openings. And in section 230.4.4, one-way pairs and divided arterioles and collectors with one-way egress, clarification was given indicating wrong way signing and marking requirements apply to signalized, unsignalized, and stop control connections. This concludes the update training for FDM Chapter 230.